Thousands of port workers are set to strike this week all across the East Coast as negotiations between companies and the International Longshoremen's Association struggle to move forward. ABC6 News reporter Josh Kerman breaks down what experts say this will mean for your wallet and the economy. A stalemate between union port workers and the U.S. Maritime Alliance will reach a boiling point as the calendar rolls over to October. The strike could bring nearly two-thirds of U.S. trade to a halt and cost billions of dollars. It's estimated that a strike would cost somewhere around $5 billion a day. The disagreement is between the International Longshore and Warehouse Union, which represents port workers all across the country, and the United States Maritime Alliance, representing terminal operators and ocean carriers. The number one disagreement between the groups is pay over the next few years, with the Maritime Alliance offering a 40% raise over the six-year contract, while the union looks for about double that for its workers. Anything beyond two weeks is going to be very, very, very disruptive. The parts that would be needed to produce vehicles, let's say, towards the end of this month will be on those boats right now. And so if those don't get unloaded, you start having sporadic plant slowdowns. Once in effect, the strike is expected to impact just about everything from chocolate to alcohol, car parts and anything else being transported through nearly a dozen ports up the East Coast. Concerns are also growing about recovering from a strike. According to the National Retail Federation, a one day shutdown takes three to five days to recover from. The longer it goes, the worse it gets. Economists estimate a week long strike could reduce US GDP between four and a half to seven and a half billion dollars, or 0.1% annualized for every week that it continues. The U.S. Maritime Alliance filed an unfair labor practice lawsuit against the union to try and force them back to the bargaining table. The union has also said it will continue to honor agreements to transport military cargo and assist cruise ships as the strike goes on. Josh Kerman.